This is Ricky News Channel. I'm James Menendez or Top Stories. A group of deer hunters organized by Marquette Outdoors rider Richard P. Smith has launched a legal challenge in Ingham County Circuit Court to several Upper Peninsula deer hunting decisions by the Natural Resources Commission. At its February meeting, the NRC rejected three changes to UP deer hunting regulations recommended by the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. The DNR used the best available science in making those recommendations, Deer Hunters for Responsible Up Deer Management stated in its challenge. Those proposed changes would have eliminated Hunter's Choice regulations in the UP, made those legal to bow hunters throughout the UP and made crossbows legal for deer hunting in the UP during the December archery deer season. Proposal G, a law passed by 70% of Michigan voters in 1996, requires the NRC to use the best available science when making decisions, and it did not do that when acting on the DNR recommendations about UP deer hunting, the deer hunters for responsible UP. Deer management claims. If the legal challenge fails, UP deer hunters will continue to be penalized by regulations that reduce the chances of success besides contributing to poor deer management through high winter deer losses, increase the spread of chronic wasting disease among UP deer, contribute to declining hunter numbers and reduce revenue for the DNR through license sales. Hunter's Choice Regulations, which put antler point restrictions on both buck tags of UP combination deer licenses, were adopted in 2008, the group said. Before 2008, one buck tag on combo licenses was unrestricted, meaning bucks with at least three inch antlers were legal for hunters to shoot. Starting in 2008, bucks had to have at least three points on one antler to be legal on combo deer licenses. Those restrictions forced hunters to pass up bucks that later died anyway during severe winters that followed, the group said. Before those deer died, they did major damage to critical winter habitat, reducing the ability of that habitat to support many deer during future winters. Since 2008, more than 100,000 deer that hunters could have and should have harvested, perished during harsh winters, the group claims. In 2015, the law was changed to prohibit UP bow hunters from shooting antlerless deer due to high winter losses created by trying to carry too many deer through the winter, which dramatically reduced the UP deer population. Before 2015, antlerless deer had been legal to bow hunters in the region for roughly 50 years without having much impact on the deer herd. The DNR recommended allowing bow hunters to harvest antlerless deer UP, white again starting in 2021 because it would have negligible impact on the UP deer population and, in fact, would help better manage the herd, according to the group. Crossbows were legalized for deer hunting during archery seasons in 2009 but an exception was made for their use during December in the UP due to speculation crossbows would be more effective than vertical bows during the late season, deer hunters for responsible UP. Deer management said. The DNR recommended crossbows be legal for deer hunting in the UP during December as they are in the rest of the state because the data shows the success rate is almost the same among crossbow hunters as those using vertical bows. The NRC ignored this information, the group claims. Only one deer. A four-year-old O has been detected with CWD in the UP, but that deer was taken on a crop damage permit in Dickinson County before the beginning of regular deer seasons, the group said. DNR genetic testing of deer infected with CWD is confirmed as that have the disease pass it on to their fawns and the doe with CWD most likely had fawns. Due to regulations that protect many yearling bucks and does, hunters have not been able to harvest other deer with CWD that probably exist in the UP. A GoFundMe page has been started to raise money for the legal challenge at https colon slash slash gofund.me slash 579F53E4. Anyone wishing to make direct contributions to the Legal Defense Fund can send donations to UP. Dear Management, 814 Clark Street, Marquette, Michigan, 49855. The law firm of Miller Johnson and Grand Rapids has been hired to represent deer hunters for responsible up deer management. The DNR said it does not comment on ongoing legal matters.